What's up with the YouTube fam, man? I'm back again with another video. Look, man, I want to start this video by letting y'all know I appreciate y'all for showing me so much love, man. Real talk. Y'all can go watch these videos anywhere in the world, but y'all come over here and watch it with me, and I really appreciate y'all for that real talk. But, uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and jump straight into this video right here, man. For those who don't know who this is, this is Shakari Richardson. And uh, I'm pretty sure y'all already know who it is. I ain't gonna get into it. If you don't go do your research, you're gonna find out a little bit more about it right here. Y'all been sending me this video all day, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what's going on. I really, ain't, I really ain't had time to sit down and watch it because I got so much going on in my life. But shit, y'all been wanting it, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, for those who don't want to hear me talking during a video that's on my channel, all you gotta do is get up off of my channel and go find it somewhere else. You don't have to be here if you don't want to be here. But to all my supporters, man, who rocking with me, bro, hit the like button for me. And tell me what y'all feel about this in the comment section. Even my new supporters, hit the like button for me. And tell me what y'all feel about the whole thing in the, in the comment section. And add my Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and my second YouTube channel called Carlos King 2. That's if y'all want to add that. But uh, yeah, man, it's about Shakari. Uh, Sh Shakari, Shakari. I don't want to mispronounce her name. Y'all forgive me if I did. But uh, yeah, man, it's about her. So we're going to get straight into it. Let's see what's up. Today, I am human. Savannah. Chanel, thank you. And Shakari Richardson joins us now. Good morning, Shakari. I just want to ask a simple question first. How are you doing? Um, I'm blessed to be alive. That's about it. <laughs> this is not easy. This is a hard moment that you're in right now. And I, I thank you for being on. And I know you wanted to tell your story. So tell me, you know, what happened? What led up to this positive test? Um... Just honestly, really just, I want to take responsibility for my actions. I know what I did. I know what I'm supposed to do. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm allowed not to do. And I still made that decision. But um, not making an excuse or looking for any empathy in my case. But just however, being in that position of my life, finding out something like that, something that I would say is probably one of the biggest things that have impacted me positively and negatively in my life when it comes to dealing with the relationship I have with my mother. So that definitely was a very heavy topic on me and people don't understand what it's like to have to or people do. We all have our different struggles, we all have our different things we deal with. But to put on a face I have to go in front of the world and put on a face and hide my pain. Um like who I don't know who are you or who am I to tell you how to cope? Hey, I gotta say this right here, bro. She's strong, man. Real talk. You don't run across people like this who can stand strong and admit to their wrongs and stuff. And um, I just really appreciate her honesty, man, because you don't run across that too much, bro. People are always lying about everything when it's just so simple to keep it real and keep it honest, you know. And then, like I just said, bro, uh, I was talking to somebody else and I was letting them know, you know, she's a prime example of, you know, God preparing a plate for somebody in front of their enemies because she getting so much hate right now, bro. And only thing that's happening to her is more positive things. You know what I'm saying? Like I saw today that Nike is still behind her after this situation right here. Even though Nike ain't crazy. They know if they would have went against her in a time like this, they stocks and everything would have went down dramatically. But at the same time, shit, they still a billion dollar company. They can find somebody else to endorse. You know what I'm saying? They just take a, take a temporary loss, but shit, they still standing behind her because they already know, bro, it ain't even that serious, man. Real talk. And she going through a hard time in life, you know? And for her to still be out here putting on a poker face, you know what I'm saying? Getting out here doing this, what she doing like this stuff right here, bro, it's hard to do. You know what I'm saying? And um, there's so many people that's in high position who do this. I don't even know why they're acting like this. It's crazy that she get more, she's getting more coverage over her feeling a drug test than what she actually has accomplished in her life. They so focused on the negative, they can't even... Man, it's, it's just so sad, bro, how so many people don't want to see you win. When you actually in a winning position, bro, people, that's when people, you know, they always say people want a key. They want to see the worst 17 stuff like that, bro. She's going through this right here, bro. She's going through the crucifixion, man. And she coming out shining, coming out clean. And I love this, bro. I swear to God. A lot of people out here, even top YouTubers, top media outlets, they slandering her, putting slick captions about her and stuff like that, bro. And they don't even know, man. She just loading up. She heating up. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back into it and see what's going on with this. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with a pain or you're dealing with a struggle that you've never experienced before or that you've never thought you would have to deal with. Like, who am I to tell you how to cope? Who am I to tell you that you're wrong for hurting? So, I think just honestly, just leading up to that, then my mental health, then my 
mom and my mental asses with when they're up to the games. Um, every time stepping on the track, definitely expect it to be um, a record breaking time or something like that. So just with that um, pressure in itself was also just another, another thing. With this actually been my first full professional career, my first full professional um, start year this year due to you know the pandemic. So just considering all of that, all of that put together in my long time with my, my agent, my sponsor, my my sponsorship, my family, um, knowing we did all of this stuff. So, um, Shakari, Shakari, I, I just want people to understand where you're coming from um, and tell me if, if this is correct, but you, it was a few days before your big race and the trials, you found out that your biological mother had passed away. Um, you found out when a reporter told you, and it was after that that um, you it ingested some kind of marijuana. I, I should mention, you were in Oregon. It's legal in Oregon. You didn't violate any law, but it was against the rules of your sport, and as you said, you knew that. But it's So look at this right here, bro. If, I go, if you go commit a crime, if you go do something illegal in a state, or something is illegal, you're going to get in trouble for it. But if you do something that's legal there, you're going to get crucified. You're going to get the max. You're going to get all type of different things. That don't make no sense to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. She was in a whole other state where it's legalized it. But the drug is banned in the Olympics. But damn, bro. Come on now, man. This don't make no sense. Why y'all drug? I know they ain't doing everybody else like that, bro. I'm telling you, bro. She in such a, a good position in life right now, bro. She gets so much hate, but the love just trumps that. They have to find something to discredit her. The way that she just came out of out of the out of nowhere and win like she win, bro. Man, I swear to God, they don't like that. They talk about how she dressed. They talk about her hair. They talk about her body style. Just all type of weird ass shit. You can't sit there and try to slander her, you know. And like they say, man, you gotta be careful messing with guys' children. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You miss with guys' children. You miss with his possessions. You know what I'm saying? His prized possessions. And all you doing is sitting there watching them win. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I don't understand what they got to do with her talent. You know, y'all watching y'all watching greatness. You know what I'm saying? When y'all see somebody out there breaking records and doing different things like that, y'all watching greatness. So watch how to slander somebody. It don't make no sense to me. You know what I'm saying? That's why she winning on y'all ass. People who are talking down on a real talk. But let's get back into it and see what's going on. Is that what happened? Is that how this unfolded honestly um yes that is the story i had an interview scheduled with my agent i knew i was having an interview i knew um going to the interview like even i was just saying open on normal interview and then on the interview to hear that information come from a complete stranger i was definitely triggering it was definitely nerve shocking because it's just like how are you to tell me that like you know it's like and I, no offense against him at all he just doing um, his job, but definitely that sent me in a state of mind, in a state of, of emotional panic, if anything. Mm -hmm. And still knowing that I still, even though I'm here, I still have to go out and put on a performance for, um, put on a performance for my dream, but I still compete to so what it is. So yes, definitely triggered, and from there just blinded, with, blinded by emotions, blinded by sadness, blinded by just hurting how it hurt honestly for the fact that i know that i can't hide myself so at least in some type of way i'm just trying to hide my pain yeah it, you know the um olympic officials the u.s track and field the anti-doping agencies now have a decision before them and um, unfortunately will not be able to compete in the olympics in your in your race your individual race 100 meters um but there is a chance it's, it's a small chance, but there's a chance you could go to the Olympics and take part in the relay. Are you hopeful for that? Is that what you're holding out hope for at this moment? Right now, I'm just putting all of my time and energy into dealing with what I need to do to heal myself. Sure. So, if I'm like This messed up, bro. Look how they're treating her. So, basically, what they're doing... They dangling her dream in front of her. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna put it like this though. All they doing, <laughs> all they doing is just turning her up. I swear, you already know, bro. When somebody do you like this, bro, all you do is get so motivated. 
I bet she's motivated so much, man. They're going to fuck around and let her go out there. She's going to do laps around, folks. You dangling somebody's dream in front of them. You letting them see it and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like you kind of making a mockery out of the situation. They said it's such a slight chance and this and this and that. Man, I wouldn't even want to be in, in, involved with it until it's time for me to do another race to get back out there to show y'all what I can do. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like she said, man, she kind of said she good on it. You know what I'm saying? I stopped it before that she got to say anything else. But for what I just heard, she good on it. But I don't like the fact that they doing her like that. Like they, like Tupac said, you know what I'm saying, a long time ago. You know, people get hungry. You know what I'm saying? Behind their door, they start making these different songs. You know what I'm saying? Then shit, they start getting more aggressive. You know, people get ready to get in there and make something happen. And that's a prime example. You know, I'm just giving y'all an analogy. But she gonna get out there and shine, bro. Real talk. They done messed up. She young, too. Man, she gonna get out there and act the fool. All she gonna do is train hard. She gonna quit that weed. I promise you that. I already know what's up. Even if she don't, she still gonna shine. She gonna still work out two times as hard as she normally already have been. She gonna be a beast. Watch what I tell y'all, bro. Real talk. I to receive that blessing. And I'm grateful for it. But if not right now, I'm going to just focus on myself. Yeah, you myself. Yeah, you straight. You know, um, what would your message be to those who are considering that right now, who are thinking about that? And to your fans, you know, who have fallen in love with you and were so proud of your performance and maybe crushed just as you are in that moment, what would you want to say to them? I'd like to say to my fans, to my family, that are my sponsorship, um, to the haters too. I, I apologize as much as I'm disappointed. I know that when I swim on the track, I don't represent myself. I represent a community that has shown me great support, great love. And to y'all, I, I love y'all. And so I apologize for the fact that I need to know how to control my emotions or deal with my emotions. During that time, um, and to the and I would just leave with my fans or I would just leave out there to say like I tweeted and said yesterday, I'm human, we're human. Um, my statement what I offer in my interviews, um, I wanna be as transparent as possible with you guys, whether it's good, whether it's bad, but when it comes to she Carrie Richardson, it's never been a steroid. It will never be a steroid attached to the name She Carrie Richardson. So charge and what the, the situation was with marijuana. I'm not encouraging anybody to do that. I'm not saying, oh, don't do it or anything like that. But if you choose to do things um, in your personal time or things like that, you just should know, all right, we were the consequences or just know, or just find different ways to just cope or do what it is that you that will make you feel better. But sitting here, I, I just say, don't judge me. Because I am human. I'm, I'm you. I just happen to run a little faster. Um, <laughs> there's going to be people that step up, step in the state, that don't necessarily understand. And I wouldn't miss even call them haters if that's up. They want to choose to show their character of, of a person, even after me saying what I, it, I, I've said um, and putting myself out there then that's just on you, your character and you have to live with that. Right. But I greatly appreciate being able to tell my side of the story. And like I said to my fans, my family, um, my sponsorship and the haters, I greatly apologize if I let you guys down. And I did. And I just want to let y'all know this will be the last time to Olympics don't cheat she carry Richardson. Hmm. And this will be the last time the U.S. Um, doesn't come home with a gold medal in a hundred. They done fucked up now. And I feel sick Harry. Lines up against me. Hey, and then you gotta look at it like this, man. Like I just said, she's so young, bro. And then, you know what? Let me say this right here, bro. The way that the media try, try to portray the situation, they're going to put out there, she had a banned drug in her. And like she was saying, you would never hear steroids test her, bro. You know, when people do very good in sports and stuff like that, when they're athletes and stuff like that, the first thing they say, ah, oh, they on drugs, they on this, they on that, they on this, and they on that. They didn't even know she was on weed. You know what I'm saying? The way that the media tried to portray her. You know, and um, I'm glad that it came out to be something like this so she can... Let everybody know what's going on. It was so many people saying you a disgrace to the black race. Just weird. I mean, just tripping, bro. <laughs> going crazy. Like they not out here doing some despicable things. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't shit on let that woman go through life, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody ain't nobody bigger and better than the next person. Man, you gotta let this girl go through life, man. 
You know what I'm saying? She got to go through her, her trials and tribulations to get to the next level. She already dealing with enough. She don't need no... Gr it's grown men slandering this lady. Grown women who are here messing with dogs, doing all of the most nastiest things you can do. You know what I'm saying? Snorting big powder. You know what I'm saying? Doing everything. But you got something to say about a young lady who made a small... Well, it's, it's major for her. But when you look at it on the outside, it's a small thing that she did, man. She just hit some weed, man. Real talk. It's not as bad as people try to portray it, man. You know, and um, it's so many athletes and stuff that done, that done killed women, beat dogs, and, you know, you know, did a lot of different things, man. You know, I can't say all that because YouTube probably demonetized me for saying all the things that these people done did in their life. You know what I'm saying? But they got so much shit to say about her. I'm glad she got a positive spirit and she know that she's going to come back. And I love the fact that she's so young going through this right now because it's going to make her two times more hungry. She probably got comfortable a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They done messed up. That's the worst thing you can do is get somebody out of their comfort zone. That's when they get to showing up and showing out. Real talk. But let's get back into this, though. Chicory, I, uh, before I let you go, I just I think about you and the highs and lows that you've had to deal with and you just your dream came true you dazzled uh you dazzled everybody with your performance but also your words your hug for your grandma you've been through so much and we'll see what happens and what this decision is but do you plan to keep keep running are you going to keep those olympic dreams alive no matter what Jeez, what <laughs> This is just one game. I'm 21. I'm very young. Um, um, unlike most, I have plenty of games left in me to compete in. <laughs> and I have plenty of talent that backs me up because um, everything I do comes to me naturally. No yeah. steroid, no anything. This incident was about marijuana. So after my sanction is up, I'll be back and able to compete. And every single time I step on the track, I'll be ready for whatever anti-doping agency to come. And get what it is that they need because it's man that's the end of the video man hey look i'm gonna tell y'all this right here bro they done messed up they done woke up a beast i'm telling you the next time y'all see this young lady do her thing she gonna do her thing they done messed up bro you can't sit here and down somebody every day every day every day talk big i'm talking about a bunch of mess to them without them having Thoughts of shining, you know what I'm saying? Giving them drive, giving them motivation, bro. They done messed up, man. They done messed up. This is the worst thing that they could have did, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just glad that uh, she's shining. She getting more endorsements. I'm talking about she getting two times more love now. And with her being so transparent, bro, she can't do nothing but win. You know what I'm saying? And like I always say, bro, God bless those who try. And I'm guaranteeing you, she's going to try as hard as she can. That's why she's going to reap all the benefits, real shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to sugarcoat it with y'all, bro. I feel kind of disappointed in her at first because I was like, damn, she was right there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say I feel disappointed in her. I just feel disappointed about the situation. I'm going to put it like that because I was like, damn, she was this close, you know? But, you know, me being human, you know what I'm saying? Like she just was speaking about, you know what I'm saying? And analyzing the things that I've done, reflecting. You know, I can't, I can't say shit about her. Bro. I done did so many more things that she's done in life, man. I'll be a damn fool to sit here and try to speak on somebody else or have any type of malice or any type of judgmental thoughts towards somebody just bumping their head in life, you know what I'm saying? And then at the same time, when she bumped her head, you know, unlike other people, she get to bounce back, you know what I'm saying? Two times harder, you know what I'm saying? And she got people more. Every time she every time she done went through something, she got more support. And this right here, she got a tremendous amount of support. And that's what's up. But yeah, man, I'm 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 pretty much done with this whole situation, man. I love the fact that she's in good spirit. She holding her head high. She being strong. She doing her thing, man. Real talk. You don't run across people like this, that's young like this, who can hold their head and be strong. You know, a lot of people just give in. It's it's grown men, old men, old women who ball down. I mean, ball up and cry and can't even get through life right when they go through one little incident. And she going through some of the biggest things. Let's just look at it like this. She had a mom die. She got the biggest opportunity of her life. Then it got snatched away from her because of a decision that she made. You know what I'm saying? And she's still holding her head high. And I'm talking about a dream come true. She just got snatched from her. You know what I'm saying? And she's still out here holding her head high. A lot of people give up. A lot of people start being weird and shit. You know what I'm saying? When still don't go the way that they wanted to go for them. And this, this is a lady out here showing you how to do it. You know what I'm saying? If she don't work out for you, man, get out here and go harder. But uh, yeah, man, that's all I got to say about the whole situation. I done said enough. But y'all like, comment, subscribe, for like my commentary. If you don't already, don't give a fuck. I'll let you later, man, on another video.